Hello everybody, today we're making gnocchi alla romana. Okay, now we gotta boil the milk, the make the gnocchi. We put the gas on, and this is the milk. Okay, now this you gotta boil a little bit, and we gotta start with the semolina. Okay, now everybody see it boil, and we start with the semolina. Now, it's the same way to make polenta. The only thing this is a semolina we call it gnocchi alla romana. And make sure to boil a little bit at a time, because they're not boiled too much. Now this is gotta be thick. Cause after we gotta put on the pots and we gotta you know it gotta be cold after when we gotta cut it. You see now it starts to be thick. Look at that. Nice signocchi la romana today. Okay, now let's see. I mix it with the frusta, but now it starts to be a little thick and we load the gas. And let's clean up this one over here. And we gotta use the water spoon now. Okay, now we put the butter and we give a nice turn with the butter. Look, knock, make, look how nice this one I got. Not too much, okay? Okay. At the same time, we put salt. And we mix. Now, this is a mix, so we put the cheese. This is a pecorino cheese. So you know got a pecorino, you use parmigiano, formaggio reggiano, look at that. Pecorino cheese. And we mix this all together. Now we turn the gas off. I gotta put the eggs, I got two yolk eggs. Look how nice yolk eggs I got over here, beautiful color. And let's put it inside and turn right away because you know one of the eggs of the cook. Break and mix. Okay, now I bring over here. This is the parts I gotta put inside. But before I pour, I want to use a little butter. Like this, I make sure they're not stick together. Okay, now it's all mixed good, and let's put it right over here on this part. All right, now we gotta pack that everything. But the best thing to do this is to put it nice. I wanna wash my hand, and I wanna do it by hand. Okay, now I gotta pack really good, and what I do, I brush my hand, both like that, with a little butter, and we Pack that. Not really thin, no. We make it flat a little bit more. I use this spatula. And now this, you gotta cool off, because you cut it now, you know, stay together. One time it's cold, we cut the form, run, and we put it back, and we gotta go in the oven. 15 to 20 minutes. Now we start to cut the gnocchi. Uh, what I do, kind of want to stick the glass when I cut I got a little bar over here and we start to cut the gnocchi. And we do like this. You see what I say? You see? Look how beautiful. And we put right over here. Now we do the rest, everything. <laughs> now this is the leftover piece, piece over here. Not throw away. What I do, I mix really good, I flat and I make more. And you do like this, look. And after what you do, 
you put right over here and you pack it again. Nice. And you cut it and you make it more. All right, now butter. And we cut it. And we see how many come out. Look. Okay, now, I got the oven at 400 degrees. And now, on top of the gnocchi over here, we put a little butter. Just spread it like this, look at that. Brush the butter, okay, give you beautiful color. When you put it in the oven, everybody know, you know, the oven, it got to be 400 degrees, okay? My oven, it got only 400 degrees when I cook. I ask the company, make it the oven, 400 degrees. He said, okay. That's what I cook, 400 degrees. <laughs> and other people said to me, when he got to cook, the people said, oh yeah, put a Pasquale temperature. You don't got to say 400 degrees, Pasquale temperature. Okay. He said, I'm a la temperatura di 400. Okay, now we put a pecorino cheese on the top. And we put a little bit each one like that. It gives a really, really good taste. Oh, gnocchi la romana. Ooh. You see, we make gnocchi alla romana with the pecorino cheese alla romana. Uh, this is go really good. And we go to Rome. Lazio. Nice cheese. Okay, now you're going to own it. But look how beautiful it looks. 400 degree, okay? Look at that. Use. Okay. Okay. Now we give a nice and beautiful color and we eat the Signocchi La Romana. It's delicious. Okay, now it's about 20 minutes, but we want to put a couple of minutes on the broil. And let's put on the broil. Okay. Look what it look like. Let me put the lights like this, everybody can see. Look at that. Or they look beautiful. Okay. Turn the lights off. A couple of minutes and this we take out. Okay, now let's see the gnocchi. Oh, look beautiful. You see, I give a little broil. It's a beautiful color. Okay, let's put it right over here. Nice. Okay, now it's a time of the test. Let's see. Ooh, look, no stick and nothing. Beautiful. Oh, now. Look at this. Nice. Huh? Oh, nice soft. What's that? Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. You put in the mouth, it's so tasty good. The cheese, everything delicious. Mmm. It's so good, really, really good. I hope somebody make this gnocchi la romana the way I did, and you let me know. And let me know when you make, maybe you can show it to me the way you look. But it's a delicious, really test. Thank you very much, and we we'll see next time. Thank you.